I am Stacy with Two Chicks and a Goat. If you're new to our show, please subscribe and hit the bell below. We're back on our driveway project here. So they finally came back in here. They started working on a septic now, but we have a massive drainage problem. So they are working on that right now. We are trying to empty out the flooding that we had up there. And they're going to end up putting some piping in uh, to help let our drown it run off. So follow along and watch the toys play in the dirt. It's like playing in a sandbox. I like playing in a sandbox. I'm gonna play in the sandbox every once in a while. Squeaky, squeaky noisy. Cool. Well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, bright and sunny. It's like I'm in show business. <laughs> sun, sun good. So part of our drainage issue that we're having is water is all coming down through this part and they're worried it's going to end up running in and flooding our septic system and overloading it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a drainage runoff in here so the water will grab it, come up to here, and then they'll make a path all the way down and then underneath that truck and over and down all the way to the water. So that's what they're working on today. So we can try to get some of this drainage. We really want this to try to be as dry as possible, not, you know, like desert dry, but what we're having is it's a mud pit in there and actually trees are dying because they're, they're, they're flooding out. And we want to get a lot more vegetation out in here growth so it's thicker and better. So uh, you can't see through it kind of thing. So you can see that way. See driveway over there. Don't want to see driveway. We want thick, thick, thick and good. So cool. It's coming along. Love it when a plan comes together. Just slow as molasses. That's the theme of our cabin build, is slow as molasses. <sighs> or maple syrup, I should say maple syrup. Slow as maple syrup, since there's a shit ton of maple syrup, syrup <laughs> done on this island. Okay, well, I'll let these guys go back and play with their toys. Digging a little trench across to try to help with our massive runoff issue we're having here. You can see they put sand in the septic just to try to dry it out. But it's literally filled all in here, flooded this area, and coming down out there. So, I don't know, every single thing they freaking do seems to take trees out. More and more come out, but... As soon as that's done, we'll end up planting trees on each side of it to fill it back up. Because all we want is the stones in there, but you have to get in there to do it. So, it's just a pain in the ass. Oh, but you can see, it all runs down and gets trapped in here. So, it's coming out and now it's flooding over this way. So, they've got to go talk to our neighbor and see if we can run a path down to the water. So, I don't know. Typical backwards, figure out where it's gonna go and then deal with the people later. Oh, because if he says no, they're doing all this for freaking nothing. Pain in the ass. Oh well. Okay. Driveway, not happy experience. Well, except for the evening. Whiskey time, baby. Oh, it is, they just left for the night, so I'm just checking on the mess that they've made up in here, so they're trying to deal with the runoff, but, and also drain out the septic, so what I don't get is, they put a ton of sand in here, I think they're trying to dry it out, then they'll pull the sand out, oh, I just must have missed a bunch of deer, because there's a ton of, Foot tracks here. Yeah, so my my dumb dare swimming pool is filled in. Damn it! <laughs> but yeah, whew, that water is good that it's gone because it was getting pretty ripe and stinky. 
it just takes him quite a long time to do stuff like to get the drainage ditch built he cut down a few trees in here um get this sand in get this water out he's been cutting up that tree as well down in there he's got to pull all that stuff out but the big tractor big tractor we just grabbed that and snapped it in half so this these this little guy just doesn't do the job like the big guy does he just grabs and snaps now this is going to be oh had a tree fall down that's weird this is going to be where they're going to put our runoff so what they've done is dug that trench and the trench is going to come can you see me the trench is going to come up to here and then hook into a lean a, a pipe that goes all the way down and then deals with the runoff so that way when we have all runoff come down here my drink is the runoff the drink will come down and it goes into the stone and then follows it this way and we'll go down so this entire area should dry up and that's our goal is to dry this up so there was a ton of dead trees right here is the only reason I agreed to this because this entire spot right here was dead trees so they dug into there hopefully the big maple there survives because I know Cristiano would love to keep him but they'll fill that with stone and then once this is all done Christian and I are going to just go through the forest pick some evergreens and things like that and transplant them around where we want them to go but within a year a lot of this dead zone like that will fill right back in because the sun's getting in there now so and then he did a way better job he's flattening out the driveway and trying to grade it a bit as well last night I came in here and it was like this oh excuse me see it was too bumpy it was a nightmare so but they still got a few trees to pull out my yellow tag behind me and grab this guy but this is where our driveway so uh, hopefully we get this thing done it's starting to be a pain in the ass but it's so looking good but every time we come down here if you look that way it thins out and thins out so we want to stop cutting trees and hopefully this is it because I don't want this to open up any more than it is already because we want to be able to not see our cabin way back in there and if they keep cutting trees we're gonna so no more so my dog's running away come on okie dokie folks we'll see what tomorrow brings looks like they're getting ready to do level out the septic and get the tanks in there progress we've made today on our driveway well they moved our septic tank down there they've got more sand in here and they've got our runs completed and the sands around it and they got the old junkie tractor started and taken out of here <laughs> so that's about all they've done for today So, 
I think now they're waiting for an inspector. And then after they have to obviously tie into this. And we've got to make a trench down and around and all the way to, to the cabin. Oh, D's nice. I'm trapped in the trailer working. Everybody's on lunch, so I figured I'd come take a walk. Puppy dog was annoying me and said, I want to get outside, I want to get outside, I want to get outside, I want to get outside. So she's outside. But uh, we're good to go. Look at that little trench. It's doing its job, collecting all the water. So now we actually need to make that runoff. Hopefully they come back this afternoon and we'll, you know, actually be able to see them working. I got tied up this morning, so I'm going to get my camera out here. But this is what we've got so far. Keep your fingers crossed. I doubt if they're coming back. Thank <laughs> you.